Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to This is the Police. Citizens' earnings have fallen 9% since New Year. Former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. I'm not going to get anything from the catalog because you know I want to make a read one of those one hundred million dollars. Let's just see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now yeah, I lost my count. I, I know I just said nine, but I don't feel like I got everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe I have 14. Here I got what I needed from the mayor's office. It would really help if I could tell for sure who is a girl. Boy, because if I knew for sure if there it says Tommy, which is I think a boy's name, but but I'm not trying to be rude by this. I just can't tell for sure who's what. I've already got what I wanted. Sort of the conflict. The elderly Emma Watson Weston, my bad, called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. Patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remain locked in, pa locked in with patients in the dining area. They threatened to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. Oh crap. Good. The asylum is. Wait, where are you going? You're crossing the water. Oh, there's a bridge there. That's what's. Okay, my bad. We've got a situation here. Reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows on the third floor. Get entrance through the back door. Calling in a negotiator. Okay, that's good. No, you are floating. Did you see that? It's the car of the Lord himself. Alright. Now I've seen something I cannot see. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the street shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passerby and swinging their blades at them. They've not yet done anyone harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Well.
An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand, and they're planning on going horseback riding. But the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like some punks are beating Mr. Sand's horse to death. Go take care of this little shit. Clem Yurev reports that suspicious people are con shush, constantly going in and out of the apartment next door, carrying big bags and making lots of noise, screaming, and as three sons can concentrate on their homework, Mr. Yurev urges someone got to show these bandits who's boss. of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. This truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. San and his deputies know about. The driver tr tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. We gotta stop these assholes before they make off with the goods. That's the mafia to sell it. student. Okay, I think I have enough to do this. So let's say he breaks the glass down, goes over, steals the thing while outside, places the brick. Nope. Because I know the security guard is the one who did it. These two 
go together. of property. Do they have a black helmet with a white spot on it? She did put that in. Did shift the password. Gear I thought it was. Look at all of these, just a little bit. Sucks, but it is what it is. 